Make sure you always drink your water. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Nina here. I am back with my very first thrifting vlog. We recently remodeled our bathroom. If you haven't watched that video, I'll go ahead and link it down below. I'm going to be looking for different pieces to decorate my bathroom space. I'll be showing you guys what I normally look for when I'm thrift shopping, all of the different sections to look through. My style is a little bit more modern, rustic, Scandinavian. So if that's the style that you're into or would like to learn what to look for while thrift shopping, then come shopping with me and I'll show you what to look for. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you stay tuned for all of my future DIY food and home videos. All right, let's go shopping, guys. I will be shopping at the Goodwill today. I always like to start in the pottery section. I love finding pieces like this that might not be my favorite color or texture, but think about refinishing them and painting them. Look at the shape, look at the style, and look past the color and finish, as that can easily be changed. They are so affordable at the Goodwill. As you can see, this one is only $2.99, and the retail price on this one was $55, so this one is definitely coming home with me. I also found this brass bowl that was made in England for only $3.99. I found the same exact one on Etsy for $24 and categorized as a rare find. I plan to use this piece as a statement piece, so I'm definitely taking it home with me. Here is another vase that is only $1.99. This is another great find as I plan to refinish by adding some texture and painting it. I always like to look at the mugs as well. This Mickey vintage one is cute. Now let's move on to the dishware. I always find good serving dishes and really unique pieces that are beautiful like this set that is plain white with some nice gold edging. These are only $4.99 for this set which is such a steal. This set is so pretty, it looks like it's hand painted and it looks like it was someone's souvenir from London. I also found this vintage Winsome by Noritake stoneware dinner plate for only $2.99. These normally retail for $100 for a four set on Etsy. These are $35.99 for a set of six dinner plates. Vintage pieces like this are timeless and absolutely stunning. One of my favorite sections has to be the art frames. I always like to look for beautiful art pieces and frames. This art piece will look so cute in a nursery. Frames are always so affordable at thrift stores. As you can see, this one is a little damaged, but the frame itself is in perfect condition. This wood frame here is perfect for my bathroom. I'll just buy a digital print from Etsy. Now moving on to the furniture section. I spotted these nightstands and I love the style. One of them was really damaged, so I'll only be taking one. These were only $14.99. I plan on sanding it down, painting it, and changing out the handle. So make sure you stay tuned for that DIY. I can't believe I found these beautiful cane back vintage dining chairs. These were only $8.99 each. These can easily go for hundreds of dollars. They just need to be cleaned and reupholstered. This little stool is beautiful. It just needs to be stripped, sanded and stained into a lighter color and it's only $9.99. The lamp section is totally lacking today to be honest, but lamps are always a great staple for your home and always affordable to buy at thrift stores. Baskets are also a great buy at thrift stores. You can always remove the handle and use them to organize your spaces. They are great to hold toilet paper rolls, towels, or even blankets. I 
I found these Cole and Mason salt and pepper grinders. These usually retail for about $25. As I was looking through these little trinkets, I spotted these Gorham 1980 Norman Rockwell bells. These vintage bells will look so cute in a bookshelf or even a nursery. I quickly walked through the clothing section and saw this misguided leopard print jacket. It did fit me, but had to pass for $14.99. All right, and here are all the goodies I found on this trip. I was so happy with the pieces I was able to get my hands on. Now let's go home and I will be showing you my haul. Hi guys, okay, so we're back home. I'm going to be doing a little haul for you guys and just sharing some of the stuff that I found. I did find a couple of items that I plan to use for my bathroom decor. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I found. All right, the first item is this beautiful vase. It was only $1.99. That's such a steal for a vase like this. It's a decent size, as you can see. It's not too small. So what I plan to do with it is refinish it by adding some texture and then I'll probably end up keeping it black. I personally don't like the glossy look so I'll probably do it like a matte black. I also have a video showing you how I normally refinish faces. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys want to see how I normally do that. This next piece is another vase. This one was only $2.99 and when I got home I saw the bottom. This normally retails for $55 and then it looks like they cut it down to $30. $5.97 and I only got it for $2.99. I really like this face just the way it is. I don't know if I'm going to be refinishing it so maybe I'll just clean it and keep it as is but I'm still not sure. For $2.99 it's such a good deal. This next item I was so happy when I spotted it. It's this beautiful brass bowl. I love this bowl. When I looked it up, I learned that it's a rare find, which made me really happy, and it's from England. Okay guys, and this other piece, I was super happy that I found this vintage dinner plate by Noritake. I was kind of sad that I only found one, but I think it's really pretty just to decorate your counter space or even on your stove top. These retail for $100 for a set of four. So even though I found one, I know I can use it to elevate my kitchen space. All right, so I found this wood frame that I'm planning to use for my bathroom decor. What I will be doing is printing a oil painting or a vintage type of design. It'll really, really elevate my bathroom space. And this one was only $2.99. I also found this vase. I really love the design of the handles. So what I plan to do with this is refinish it by texturing it and also painting it. And this one was only $9.99. All right, and last but not least, I ended up buying this cardigan. This one was only $5.99. I really liked the color. It's by this brand. I'm not sure what brand that is, but I really liked it. It's cute. All right, guys, and that's my thrift haul of all of the different items that I was able to score on this thrifting trip. And I plan to refinish some of those faces to add to my bathroom decor. So stay tuned for that video. I promise I will be uploading that video very soon. I'm so excited for you guys to see how I decorate my bathroom. All right, guys, and that's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all of my future videos. Until next time, bye, everyone.